Let's consider a very simple simulation such as this. We have a queue and we have a server and there are some jobs waiting, awaiting service in the queue and customers arrive to this queue for service. And here is the server. So let's say we want to study something like the uh, mean delay in the queue. What is the probability distribution of different queuing times in the queue? So for example, you might imagine something like this. On the x-axis, we have the uh, delay. And on the y-axis, we have the probability of the delay. And this might look something like this. There's some probability of zero delay. There's some probability like that. And then that is the maximum delay. And of course, that's the minimum delay of zero. So in order for us to compute this distribution, we would need to run the simulation many times for different kinds of arrivals over here. And at the moment, remember that I haven't told you what the arrival process is, but for now, let's say we consider a simple arrival process such as arrivals being a Poisson process. So if the arrival process is Poisson, what this means is that if this is time, then we have arrivals coming over time. So here's the first arrival, the second arrival, the third, the fourth, and the fifth, etc. And these times between arrivals, such as this first one, the second one, etc., these times are going to be drawn from an exponential distribution. And so what we mean by this is that we are going to simulate the system as follows. We have the first customer arriving over here, that's the first customer. And then we need to generate a time, which is this time over here, T1, drawn from exponential distribution. And then we wait this amount of time and then we say the second customer arrived. Then we wait a second exponential time, T2, and then the third customer arrived and so on. And in this way, what happens is that we're going to get one trajectory, one instantiation of the stochastic arrival process. Now, in order to get this distribution over here, probability of delay, we probably we will need to run this uh, multiple times. So we have uh, more arrivals of the customers to the queue each time we run it. But the important part is we need to somehow draw numbers from an exponential distribution. Oops, okay. Draw numbers from exponential distribution. And in general, we can have the arrival process be fairly complicated. It could be drawn from uh, any and distribution. It could be normally distributed, etc. And so we would need to draw numbers from a uh, particular distribution which is specified by the uh, modeling that we want to carry out. So uh, in, in at the heart of it then, much of the complexity in simulation turns out to be how to pick these numbers, and that's the topic that we'll be studying next.